Okay, YouTube, praise the Lord, I'm back. This is Apostle Stacy, and I'm here uh, because I actually, I was asked by one of my viewers and one of my subscribers to discuss this uh, topic, and then I thought it was a very fitting topic because I love to uh, be a blessing to people of God wherever I can, especially when it involves sharing knowledge about living a saved life, uh, living a holy life. And I'm about to put on my glasses, so please pardon the glare that you're going to see. Uh, from my glasses because I'm recording from my webcam um, and I want to send a shout out to Minister Sterling a man who sent this email to me and he said uh, I have a question that I think uh, most, Christ most Christians may have or well, is it okay for a Christian to go to the club just to dance and associate with people I know the answer is obvious, but can you please break this down for me because my friend and I have been going back and forth on this topic. My argument is that it is foolish for a Christian to go to a club because it makes you more accessible to sin. Her argument is that she only goes to dance and associate with people, not to drink or be involved with any type of sexual act, then, then it's okay. So if you would please talk about this with biblical biblical evidence thank you minister sterling and um i want to say to you minister sterling thank you first of all for asking me this topic and for um asking me to talk about this because this is a topic that i feel like a lot of people do really want to know the answer to and they may not feel comfortable just coming right out and asking their pastor or asking their leader um what their views on about this topic you know what their views are concerning this topic so I want to thank you for being bold enough to ask this, and I believe that it is a really good topic for me uh, to discuss with you all, my YouTube audience and uh, YouTube family. So again, thank you for this very good topic suggestion. Now, let's just deal with um, this as it is, and I'm grateful that you also asked me for biblical evidence. And so um, let's look at the Word of God. There are many reasons. Uh, why I believe that it is not a good witness to go to the club. Um, a lot of people like to walk the fine lines of salvation. And what I mean by the fine lines of salvation, it's like they're walking on this little, uh, grandma used to call it a chalk line, walking a chalk line, uh, a little thin line, and then almost daring to fall to either side. And when it comes down to salvation, why would you put your salvation on such a thin line? Make sure you are firmly planted and established in God. You walk in a thin line, any little wind could blow you off to the other side. And you end up lost. Or you end up doing something that does not please God. Or something that will cause you to fall. Or others that are watching your example to fall. So walking in thin line is just not a good idea. So, you know, it's, it's some, in, many, in many cases, it's not a question of whether or not it's just an outright sin to do it. In a lot of cases, it's a question of how is your witness? What are you witnessing by attending a club? And I know, you know, even some of the people that may watch this video or that may be friends with me on Facebook, you know, they may differ in their opinion and that's fine. But I'm going to stand for holiness and y'all already know that. So, uh, amen, praise God. We can exchange status messages later. But right now, Apostle says they're going to have to stand for holiness. I've seen pictures of some people and they've had birthday parties in the club and other social gatherings in the club. And uh, here's how I feel about that. Number one, as a saved, sanctified, Holy Ghost filled, saint of God, why would you take the Holy Ghost in the club? The Bible said your body is a living sacrifice, wholly acceptable unto God, your reasonable service. Your body is a temple of the Holy Ghost. The Holy Ghost dwells on the inside of you, meaning you are the church. Would you carry the church to the club? What if y'all see Apostle Stacy sitting on the, in the club with a nice little black get em girl dress? Y'all know what a get em girl dress is. A dress that show off all your little curves with some uh, stiletto heels and uh, banging makeup. Uh, why would y'all feel about Apostle Stacy being in the club? And why is it that you would feel a certain kind of way about me being in the club, but you don't feel a certain kind of way about you being in the club? Is that, is that a double standard? 
Do we have different Holy Ghost? Praise God. We have the same Spirit of God that's living on the inside of us. Amen. And so, number one, your body is a temple of the Holy Ghost. Why carry the temple of the Holy Ghost into an ungodly environment? Now, I am 31 years old by the grace of God, and I have never been clubbing. <gasps> yeah, we do exist. I have never been clubbing. Never been to a nightclub. Never. Don't plan to go. Why? Because the Bible also says, shun the very appearance of evil. Loud music blasting. And I'm only going by what y'all said because I've never been. Loud music blasting. Smoky atmosphere. Folk doing drugs. Folk drinking. Folk doing God knows what. Hooking up to do God knows what. Why? It's hot. You go, and I never understood why ladies particularly get dolled up. I mean makeup face is just stamped, honey. Hair just fried, dyed, laid to the side. Glued in, sewed in. Snapped in, pinned in, or just rocking the natural. Um, just going out to buy, amen, uh, these outfits that show off all your grace and mercy. To just go and sweat it out by people that can't see you, or too drunk to even recognize you, and really have no godly intention to socialize with you whatsoever. I'm sorry. The club is no place for the saints of God. Never has been. Now, I heard, I, I, I hear you. I heard you. Now, wait a minute, Apostle Stacy. Um, I'm just going in the club to witness. Really? Are you going to the club to socialize? Or are you going to evangelize? Because some of us, we know we about right here to the world anyway. And you don't need to be going in the club talking about you evangelizing. Missionary club hopping. Really? Honey, stand outside the club and pass out a track if you're that convicted to evangelize to those that are in the club. But many of us are not evangelizing, honey. Not when you're in the middle of the dance floor. When, when you had time to evangelize, when you were between two guys, two girls, or whatever you was doing. When you had time to evangelize. And so even if you're not participating in the act, you are in the company of the appearance of evil, and the Bible says shun the very appearance of evil, which means don't have a part of it, don't approve of it, don't be, don't have anything to do with it, don't have fellowship. What good is it for light to have fellowship with darkness? Oh, I got all kinds of scriptures. Uh, what, what, what about the scripture, amen, that tells us, praise God, that we shouldn't be a stumbling block to one another? What if you're not drinking? What if you're not doing drugs? What if you're not hooking up, but you're actually in the club, and someone that you have witnessed the gospel to passes by or sees you there in that setting? What is it doing for your witness? And just because you're in the company of those that are doing things that are not godly, what does the Bible say? Blessed is the man that dwelleth not in the council of the ungodly. Amen. Praise God. So, by going to such establishments, what are you saying about your salvation? Amen. What are you saying? Praise God. That God declares in His Word. Here it is. Y'all know Apostle Faithy gonna preach this. Be holy, 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 because I am holy, and without holiness, no man shall see the Lord. Anything that's not righteous. Anything that's not giving God the glory is a stumbling block, is a weight, and can turn into sin. So don't just try to justify your actions, saying you there to eat, oh, I'm just enjoying the music. Okay, well, let's talk about the music. What kind of music is really being played in the club? What kind of dances are being done to this music that's being played in the club? So while we're in the world, we're not of the world. We still have to be separate. Come out from among them and be ye separate, says the Lord. Touch not the unclean thing and I will receive you unto myself. You know you got to go on to the club with a jean shirt and a church t-shirt on. 
Are you representing God with your body as a temple of the Holy Ghost in the club while you're on the floor popping and dancing? It'll be real hard for you to convince me that you save and sanctify filled with the Holy Ghost. And there have been so many stories of Christians who have gone in just to evangelize or just to socialize or just to try it out and ended up going into the club, uh, taking a drink of something that they had no clue what was in that something and ended up being hurt, being up, ended up being right you know they slip little drugs in your drinks baby while you're out there and you know you're a church girl you know you're a church boy you know you don't know nothing about their lifestyle for real and some people that you call your friends uh let you get drunk or let you get high uh you become the laughing stock of not only people but devils are laughing at you because you're trying to sober up your little self, trying to go sing in the choir and sing praise and worship and now it is you can't even lift your hands because you feel so guilty because you know you ain't had no business being in the club. So why are we, as Holy Ghost filled believers, enjoying the company of unbelievers? Why are we enjoying the company of darkness? And we're supposed to be a light. 2 Corinthians 6.14 What company, what fellowship, what in the world has light got to do with darkness? And you know when you go in the club, what is it? That's what they say. Dark. Don't nobody want to see nobody. Everybody just having a good time. Well, what kind of good time? And I, I want to ask you, what kind of good time are you having participating in things, in behavior with people that do not respect your God? Amen. So it's one thing to socialize. You know, I have friends who are not uh, necessarily preachers and some talking like I am, acquaintances or what have you, that, amen, uh, we, whatever, but if I'm going to be with you, let's go to Starbucks instead, okay? Let's go to somewhere. There are Christian alternatives, and Christian alternatives are controversial because some folks say, well, Christians ain't got no, no, no business having an alternative, amen. But I have been, I have been the apostle, yes. I have been to Christian settings that were in the church, Fellowship hall or church basement or, or the church uh, ad, admin building or whatever, you know, the little addendum building that they have to the sanctuary where they served uh, non alcoholic uh, uh, virgin daiquiris and uh, little fruit juices and chicken fingers. And we went and we heard gospel jazz or gospel poetry or even gospel rap. And it was an enjoyable setting. It's not something that I actually uh, would do all the time. But there are those who feel that God has called them to that type of ministry where they minister to those who may like to go out on a Saturday night or who young people who want to do something on a Saturday that glorifies God. So there are uh, places that have been set up. I know there's one in Atlanta that I went to. I think it's called the Sea Room. So, hey, I hope I said that right. I have been. And you know what's happening there? Worship hit that building. Amen. And we were up on our feet, praising, worshiping, and magnifying God. It was nothing ungodly about it whatsoever. In fact, little old church mothers was in the kitchen cooking up the chicken fingers. Amen. Little ushers were serving the little uh, mixed drinks. And when I say drinks, I'm talking about fruit juice, no alcohol. Okay. Saved environment with people who want to live for God. Amen. If you don't have one in your area, maybe you should uh, go to your pastor or go to, you know, a, a, a local establishment and see if that type of thing can be done. I don't think anything is wrong with going and listening to nice music and listening to poetry. Um, I even have a woman of God that I'm in fellowship with, awesome musician, awesome preacher. And oftentimes they go and they have these events here in the city where I am and they um, invite people to come out in that type of atmosphere if you just want to sit at a round table and listen to some good music in a laid back environment. Okay, fine. But honey, it's a difference between that and a just all out night club. Okay. And you know it's a difference. You know you feel a tug in your heart. A little conviction of the Holy Ghost saying don't do that. 
So when we love God with our whole heart, our whole mind, our whole, our whole soul, all our strength, and we offer our bodies to God as a living sacrifice, and we take up our cross daily to follow Jesus, you know right from wrong. Amen. So why should we support that type of work? Why should we support a nightclub? Is God getting the glory in a nightclub? Now let me say this. There's been a few saints that have testified to the fact that they tried to go to the club. And the Holy Ghost ended up placing them under arrest right there in the club. Woman of God that I know and love dearly. She tell me she told me about how when she thought she was gonna backslid and, and her and another preacher that was th th thinking they was gonna backslide. You know, they got mad with God and decided they were going to go out in the world and go to the club. They got in that club and the Holy Ghost that was still on the inside. Because I don't care how much you try to act like you ain't got the Holy Ghost in those settings. The Holy Ghost will embarrass you, baby. He'll call you out. <laughs> she said she started quickening and sitting right there at the bar. This folk that got saved at the club after God arrested them. She said she ended up quickening and speaking in tongues. She said, and the other people that were in the club looked at her and said, Girl, you know you ain't got no business in this club. Amen. Praise God. So I want to say to you, Amen, thank you for, uh, again, suggesting that we talk about this topic. I think it's very important that we discuss such matters, uh, that the saints of God will be edified. And I'm sorry, y'all, because this web camera is all off center and everything. But I pray that you got the, the point of this message, that your body is a temple of the Holy Ghost. Amen. And why would you want to take the Holy Ghost in the nightclub? All right, if you witnessing, amen. But I want to see some souls coming as a result of your mission trip. And you should have to have a mission trip every Saturday, every Friday. Glory to God. Amen. Invite them to where you are. Why you got to go with where they are? If they're your friends, they'll come where you are. Amen. Come out from among them and be ye separate. It's the difference between the holy, the unholy, the clean, and the unclean. Amen. Let's be the light of the world. Amen. All right. That, 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 that's my biblical approach to answering that question. Should Christians go to the club? And for my, all my club hopping saints, honey, please. All right, enjoy Jesus and all his joy. Thank you for making ministry possible.